No particular order, let's start with world's greatest stretch. Plank position, bend one leg forward in between your arms. Your arms same side as your bent leg raises up to the ceiling. Power of Pisa for your upper back. Hold the rack with elbow bent at 90 degrees, other arm reaches across, outside foot steps back, inside leg crosses over, pull both shoulders out. Bring your chin forward, then toward the rack, bring it forward again, and back toward the rack. Now a variation for your QLs, same start position, this time hook your outside foot behind your inside leg, no chin movement here, just drive those hips out. One of my faves, the QL straddle. Have your legs out at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, one knee bent into the other. Take that arm by the bent knee and reach out towards your foot. Sink your chest down towards your knee and breathe. Make sure you're reaching with the inside arm, not the outside arm. If you're having trouble bending that foot so far up, just pull it down. If you can't grab your foot, go ahead and drive your chest towards your ankle. Still having trouble? Lodge your hand on the other side of the foot and twist. Open book. On your back, knees up at 90 degrees, drop them to one side. Arms straight out on the same side and open one arm in the opposite direction. I feel it best when my hips are directly in line with my head and my chin is following my moving arm. Next, straighten the leg touching the floor beneath you and the other leg straightens across. Finally, right foot on top of left knee and drop those knees to the left. Hold that knee down as you reach away. Now on your knees, lift your shoulders up, back and down, hands behind your back for chicken wings. Keep that posture, drive those elbows back and release. Switch hands. It's best if you do this next one seated. Grab underneath the chair or sit on your hand. Gently guide your head to your opposite shoulder. Take a deep breath, exhale, and sink into it. Repeat this a few times as your head stations at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock. Switch to the other side and do this for 3, 2, and 1 o'clock. An alternative is to drop your shoulder and think about reaching your palm toward the ground. For your hamstrings, let's take a straddle position, toes facing up. Go ahead and reach out from the center as far as you can and bring your way back. When those knees come off the ground, that tells me you have tight hamstrings. Keep those legs on the ground. Reach out a little further each time. Still too difficult? You can bring the angle of your legs in just a little. 
Waiter's bow, keeping knees together, one knee bent, other leg straight, toe up. Straight leg, not to the side, not lunging forward. Hinge at the hips, scoop down and up. Switch sides, scoop down and up, and repeat. Not quite the Bretzel 2.0, just the starter pack. Sit with your legs at 90 degrees, bring them in if you have to, lengthen your spine, and fold your chest over your thigh. If that's too easy, go ahead, square up your shoulders to your front knee and hip. Strength training for our back requires a lot of gripping, so we'll go ahead and do a counter grip stretch. Palm against the wall, fingers down, fingers splayed and straight. Another stretch for your hand or forearm, depending where your tightness is. Close your hands, bring your fists together, lay the back of your hand on the ground, and slowly try to straighten your elbows. Don't let those fingers run wild. Keep that fist formation and those nails hidden. Sometimes I like to pull my fist further out, gently rocking over the back of my hand to get the muscles in between my metacarpals. Alas, it's my favorite way to do a trap rollout using a lacrosse ball. Start by placing the ball at the base of your neck in front of your trap using the corner of a wall You'll want to push your body perpendicularly against the wall, bracing with your idle hand, rolling the ball up and down over your trap. I do this about 20 times each side, and then use another face of the wall to work my other trap. You can roll the ball laterally if you have space, and you can probably move your head out of the way. Ta-da! You're now in better shape for your subsequent workouts. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.